God is not remembered in debt. A powerful word from the book of Psalm, the sixth chapter. Let us read there. It says in the fifth verse of the sixth chapter, For in death there is no remembrance of thee. In the grave who shall give thee thanks? Who shall give God thanks from the grave? Who shall remember God in the grave? I believe the psalm writer here, David, is letting us see that there is a time that we are actually separated from this body and at the same time separated momentarily from God the Father. Even as the words Jesus spoke from the cross, my God, my God, why? Has thou forsaken me? I believe that there, the time of death, that there is a time of separation. Uh, I know there's many who do not believe that, but I say that because of what the psalm writer writes here. And not only that, I want you to look in the uh, Psalms 88, in the ninth and the tenth verse. It says, "Mine eye." Mourn it by reason of affliction, Lord. I have called daily upon thee. I have stretched out my hands unto thee. Wilt thou shew wonders to the dead? Shall the dead arise and praise thee? Shall thy loving kindness be declared in the grave? Or thy faithfulness in destruction? Shall thy wonders be known in the dark and thy righteousness in the land of forgetfulness? But unto thee have I cried, O Lord, and in the morning shall my prayer prevent thee. And one more. In Psalms 115, the 17th verse. The dead praise not the Lord, neither any that go down into silence. But we will praise the Lord from this time forth and forevermore. Praise the Lord. Glory be to the living God. I believe that is giving you and I a true understanding that there is a period somewhere. We don't know exactly where. When our spirit leaves our body and we die and it perishes and it decays that we are not at that moment present with the Lord, even though we know that Paul uh, writes that uh, in debt we are in, we are present with the Lord. I believe there is a period because there's a time of judgment. Even the word says that uh, there's life, then there's death, and then there's the judgment. But I believe in this time that God has called us. That should not be what our concerns is today. But our concerns should be praising the Lord now while we yet still have breath. Not worrying about when we're going to get to heaven so that we'll be able to praise the Lord and glorify Him and magnify Him. David is making it plain and clear that we ought to praise the Lord here. We ought to glorify the Lord here. We should magnify His name while we yet have breath. For in the grave, there is no praising of God. There is no glorifying of the Lord. There is no uh, uh, His great works being done any longer in our lives. So every opportunity we have, brothers and sisters, we should be praising the Lord, glorifying Him, magnifying Him, and lifting up His holy name as though we'll never get a chance again. But there are many today that live without that kind of attitude. They believe when the time comes, they will praise Him and they will glorify Him once they're in heaven. But my brothers and sisters, in the name of Jesus Christ, even as the psalm writer writes, uh, the, the powerful words that he writes, we recognize that 
praising should be done here. Praising should be done on this side of eternity rather than waiting. And I say to you today, in the name of Jesus Christ, no matter what you go through today, take time, take a moment, and praise and glorify Him and magnify His holy name. Because He is a great and an almighty God. He is the living source of life itself. And without Him, you would not have your being today. So while you yet have breath, while you yet have hands and feet and a tongue, glorify Him with those members that the Father has bestowed upon you, that He has blessed you with. Glorify Him. For there are some who are alive today who have not the ability to lift their hands because they're paralyzed. There are people today who cannot see and glorify Him because their eyes have been blinded and they cannot see the glory of God in the sun, in the moon, and the birds in the air. They cannot do that. But if you can today, I say to you in the name of Jesus Christ, wait not for the grave to glorify Him, but glorify Him now while you yet have breath, while you yet have your being. And the grave has not captured your flesh. God bless you. Have a blessed day.